It's the Daily Doug. Hey, y'all. Welcome back to the Daily Doug. Thanks for being with me today. My friends, it's the start of a new week, and we had a lovely week last week. It was Thanksgiving here in America. We took a few days off, but we're back at it. It's a Monday, and we got to get pumped up for another week, so I am making it a true metal Monday because we're listening to music by Slayer, and I am happy that you are here. We have taken a look at music from Slayer a few times on the channel uh, previously, but both times we've done this sort of combo with music by Slayer and music by Slayer, the cover band that does holiday-themed covers of Slayer songs. We looked at uh, South of Heaven and then the cover version South of Lapland, we also took a look at Seasons in the Abyss, which was covered to be Seasons Greetings in the Abyss. And I enjoyed, I really did, I have enjoyed both of those uh, episodes, but people have been really asking me to continue featuring heavier metal on Metal Mondays. And so I'm coming back to Slayer today, and I'm going big, y'all. We're doing Raining Blood. And I don't know what I am in for other than what I have read in uh, today. So Raining Blood is from Rain in Blood, R-E-I-G-N, Rain in Blood, which was their third album released in 1986. The album is regarded as one of the most influential and extreme thrash metal albums ever produced. Uh, Loudwire has ranked this album as Slayer's best of their entire career, and Metal Hammer awarded it the best album of the last 20 years back in 2006, which is when the album turned 20. And so uh, critics love it, fans love it, and even the band members love playing this music. The song itself ends the album, and it's become a permanent addition to the band's live set. And it's one of the band's more enduring and popular tunes. So I am eager to see what it's all about. We've got Tom Araya on bass and vocals. Jeff Hanneman is on the guitars. Kerry King is on guitars and backing vocals. And Dave Lombardo is on the drums. They also had Rick Rubin with them producing the entire thing. So let's see what this is all about. Raining Blood from Slayer. Off we go. That sounds like an E flat down there. Are they tuned down? Must be. Somebody's knocking at the door. It's in time. That's cool. Hello. Double kick. I'm gonna be okay, y'all. Take a drink. They got the tritone hanging out as they go down by half steps in that riff. The drumming. Hang on a second. I know they just started. The drumming in that section, there is no room for error when you're going that fast. The snare, I almost thought at the beginning, was on the strong beats, but they're on the off beats. Pop and pop and pop and pop. Right? Because when the lyrics came in, the lyrics were off from where the snare was, and if you get off or rush just a little bit during that section as a drummer, then it's hard to tell where the downbeat is and where the offbeat is. That's really interesting. I'm going to go back a little bit and re-catch this uh, opening uh, verse, so let's hit it. Off we go. Trip 
backwards. That's really tricky. Death will be their equipment. See, the snare sounds like it's on the beat, then it's off the beat. Cool! Leedy tone! that riff. Cool. Real heavy riff. From a lacerated sky. Now I shall rain and blood using the different rain. Up a step, back. Wow. There is some carnage happening. We pause this metal song for a rainstorm. Is that it? Is it just going to fade out? This is the end of the album. Maybe it's actually raining blood. Whew. That's an intense song. Short. Shorter than I thought it would be, especially with these intros and outros on the end of it here. And that's just going to fade out. Well, there's the piece, friends. There's not a lot of, of lyrics here, but they're pretty overt. Let's see what these guys actually uh, wanted to say about this, because I found some quotes from the co-writers of this song. Uh, one, Jeff Hanneman, who uh, is a co-writer and founding member. Uh, sadly, he passed away, though. He died in 2013. Uh, but about this song, he said that it's about a guy who is in purgatory because he was cast out of heaven. And he's waiting for revenge, and he wants to fuck that place up. That's what Jeff said. And then uh, the other co-writer and co-founding member, Carrie King, said that the rest of the song just explains what happens when he starts messing with people, when he starts enacting that revenge. And the lyrics, return to power draws near, is because he's waiting to get strong enough again to overthrow heaven, or at least attempt to. And then the lyric, fall into me, the sky's crimson tears, is everybody's blood falling into him or onto him. So basically, raining blood is all about the angel's blood falling on him. It's a point of view that I am trying to identify with. <clears throat> and at its core, I think it's about um, having a sense of self and a sense of self-respect and and really understanding yourself and that not being good enough to uh, be allowed to be in a place that you really want 
to be. Here they're making it about heaven and purgatory or heaven and hell. But in um, in our lives, it can be about, you know, any lack of social standing that we might have at any given time where we're like, yeah, we want to participate in society in this way and we're not allowed to because of something about ourselves that we're proud of, uh, but that other people are not. And they take it out on us by casting us out. And in this instance, he wants revenge and he's out for blood and he's going to get it. That reveals a lot of anger, a lot of resentment and just disillusionment. And I wonder uh, what their spirituality is like, because obviously they know about this stuff. They know about heaven. They know about purgatory. I'm curious as to the real background into this as to what made them really want to write it. And I didn't find that information, and that's what I'm left with uh, here as uh, as I've heard it. It's really intense. All that double kick, uh, but the singing was good. I really enjoyed the uh, the vocal color there. The riffs and the guitars were great. The drums, I mean, it's metal, so we got the double kick. I thought that in that really fast section, using the snare like that so fast takes away or took away from the power of the song a little bit because I really I couldn't tell if it was rushing and slipping back onto its back beat or or if it was just kind of just shimmying like a train moving down the track a little bit it was a little uneasy or uneven through that section but that's my only critique I uh, I enjoyed it I lived it Y'all, I lived through it. I lived to to <laughs> to, to last another day after listening to Slayer uh, on its own for the first time on the channel. This is fun, y'all. We'll get back to some more Slayer. I can handle it. Come on. But uh, that is a good way for us to start our week with the metal. Monday, it's raining blood from Slayer. I hope y'all have a great week, and we will see you next time on another edition of The Daily Doug.